work at the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center doing restoration technology development work. And today we're going to be looking at how to disassemble the Moline Machine Donut Sheeter. So for this machine, what we do when we're creating restoration technologies is we create a dough mixture made out of clays, uh, silicas, and various dry materials that are then mixed with seed. Our seed mixture is essentially made into a dough that is then put at the top of the Moline machine. The dough is pushed through the machine and forms a sheet which goes down our conveyor belt. As it goes down the belt, blades inside this part of the machine chop the dough pieces and then form into our little seed pellets and pillows. First what you'll want to do is gently lift the hood and set it back gently. Then you're going to go to either side of the machine Turn these handles to the left, pull out, and lift up. And just make sure that you put them back on the correct side when you go to reassemble the machine. Vanessa, yeah. if you lift up, and be careful when you're pulling it down as there are little pieces on the top that hold the screw together. If they're lost, this is what will happen to your screw. It comes off, which is not good. Then you get two people on either side and slowly release Oh, yeah, first you have oh, to undo the, the pin. pin. <laughs> <laughs> first take the pin out. <laughs> then slowly release. Really there we go. Okay. Then slowly release down at the same time. Oh, it's not. Do you want to hold on that side? Yeah. Okay. Then you take the two side pieces off by lifting up and pulling them out. These two pieces look very similar. And so you need to be careful. On each one, there's an R and an L. R is right here on the device, and then written on this side, so you don't get the two mixed up. That way, when you're putting them back, they go in in the correct way. Remove these two white pieces. When you look down, there are four screws holding the white piece in. You'll want to loosen the screw, and then remove the whiteboard. We can gently remove, maybe gently remove the board. <coughs> gently remove the board. <laughs> and after you've got your machine disassembled, you'll want to clean the interior wheels. You'll clean them first, make sure you get off onto the sides and that they're all cleaned out, that there's no material on top, such as is here right now. Uh, then, once you've cleaned everything that you can see on the surface, you want to roll it just because material can get stuck in between the blades right down in the middle there. When your piece is disassembled, you'll want to make sure that these are all very clean. Wash them down depending on what you're using. If, you're, if you've got surfactant, you'll want to make sure that these are sterilized. Make sure you've gotten all the dough material out from the extruder portions here. So make sure after you've gotten all, everything in the base clean that you also get the flow hood cleaned out as material will get stuck along the edges there. Seeds can get caught in these little cracks, so really make sure it's clean. You don't want your seeds to be contaminated. When you're putting the white pin back, get it lined up and down into place. Then make sure that at least two of the screws are pressed firmly, but not so tightly you can't undo it again against the board. As I mentioned before, you want to make sure that these pieces go back on the right and the left side as they're demarcated. Always make sure you put the left one on first, as the left one goes in and has a piece that fits there, and the right fits underneath it. Okay. Okay, now that we've gotten everything pretty much back, we are going to put the last piece on, which is this bottom spot. Make sure that the, the higher lip goes on the left side and the lower lip is on the right side. The trick to this, you want to have two people Get it nice and secured because it's heavy, you don't want it falling on you. This you have to be very tricky and both people have to go up simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this piece will not set correctly in the machine. So, we'll give it a try. Ready, Vanessa? Yeah. Oh, did we get it? I'm oh, it's stuck. Here. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think that might be. We got it. I didn't. Oh. oh. Close. Go down? Yep. Okay, ready? Okay, try yeah. again? Yep. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Yay! Good? Woo! 
Okay, and then make sure that you pin it so that that heavy piece doesn't fall back onto you. First stick the top part up into the hole and pull up and place the bottom piece into your rack there. You've got your screws put back in place, it's time to put our sideboards on. You want to make sure that these go over the top of this. They fit in and then make sure that your latches go tight. And then you're ready to go. Once you've gotten your machine cleaned and you're about ready to put it back, we're going to show you how to make sure you get this lined up with these little things here. So we're going to push it in. And we're lining the nest if you point to the screw we're lining up. Right here. This guy. Yeah. Okay, so then you're going to make sure that you get the bolts both lined up and then use your safety pin to secure the whole machine into place. Once you've finished cleaning your machine and have it all reassembled, you are ready for the next go round of seed pillow making. Thank <laughs> you.